Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Pastor Ken, who just brought part two of the David message, and very timely, Goliath Must Fall, and talking about giants. Great sermon. Thank you. Um, just the Lord's timing in that it was brought this Sunday, because certainly Hurricane Harvey and what we're facing feels giant. Giantish. It does. Uh, I mean, the physical part of it, yeah. but the emotional part of it, oh, the spiritual yeah. part of it. Um, so we're just going to take a little time right now. We didn't have questions come in specifically about the sermon, but to just speak to where we are in the midst of this. Um, and so in terms of um, just the serving and donations and all the things that Faith mm-hmm. Ridge is doing mm-hmm. to sort of move into this, what, what have you found as you've been out to be most helpful? And what are things that have are not as helpful yeah, right, right now. Kind of give us some direction. Yeah, there. so so uh, like I tried to mention using the metaphor of, of uh, lines, you know, uh, or lanes, we need, to, we need to stay in a lane or two. And the temptation in crisis is to say, let's have a lane here, let's put a car over in this lane and let's do this. And, and, and you can't do everything. Well, you could try, but you won't do it well. And I think that's where Pastor Dan really gave our staff good guidance yesterday when he said, okay, look, this is a lane and this is a lane that Mm -hmm. are our lanes. We are good at this. We've got the BFT, uh, Bridging for Tomorrow uh, deal, food, they need food. We got the teams, We, we do teams. We know how to do teams, let's do this. So I say, like, give me an example of something that's not helpful. He's like, well, I walked in a day or two ago, early in the morning, and somebody had come by the dark of night and basically dumped their garage Mm -hmm. clean out on our steps. Right. And we'll assume that came from a good Yeah, because place. I feel like right you now know, everybody's like, I just want to do something. And so yeah. I, I'll just take everything that I have to give just, and I'll just... I'll clean out my garage. Clean, I've yeah, been meaning just, to do that yeah. for months mm-hmm. and I'll just leave it on the steps of the church. So it's coming from a, a, mm-hmm. a generous or altruistic or caring uh, place, but it's not the most helpful mm-hmm. because that's not our lane. Mm-hmm. And what that just means is that I've got to take two, three, four people off of what we do well out of our lane. Say, Could you go like look through this? And some of it's going to just have to be thrown away. And um, and so, which is not to say that there aren't ministries that are saying clean out your garage and just bring everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've I've seen some posted sure. around. Great. That are taking different sure. things. But us. let's let mm-hmm. them stay in that lane. That's not our lane, and we'll stay in this lane. And if everybody will just kind of, because I'm noticing what six days, seven days in, every church, every ministry is is kind of finding their lane. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the this most. This is the need and. This is how we're going to help me. This is how our Our ministry is doing Mm -hmm. it. This is what we do well. This is our sling and our stones. That's Saul's armor. We're not going to put that on, but that doesn't mean that's bad. Just if that's the armor that you want or that you have, find who's driving in that lane Mm -hmm. and then let's go there. Mm -hmm. I think maybe that's the most helpful thing. How do you stay current? Because it is evolving every 24 Mm -hmm. hours. It evolves a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now we don't need this anymore. Okay, what do we need now? Now we need this. Um, just on the app, mm-hmm. the FaithBridge app, faithbridge.org slash Harvey. Facebook page. Facebook. Um, if you just will kind of go the to The Bridging one, for Tomorrow page bridging stays updated. Bridging for Tomorrow mm-hmm. stays uh, updated as well. Mm-hmm. Um, you can stay kind of in front of uh, or, or towards the front of the curve. Mm-hmm. Um, as I was explaining to somebody yesterday, we don't feel like we're more than uh, a few hours ahead of everybody. Mm-hmm. In crisis, that's what you are, mm-hmm. is a few hours ahead. But God gives you enough and you you find your lane, like I said, and, and, and you start going. So 
stay current with us as we try to stay current with the needs in the community and the people that we're in touch with mm -hmm. and the ministries that's that good. Yeah, that's we're talking good. to. Um, and so we've talked about sort of from a practical side of meeting needs, mm -hmm. um, but when these things happen, there's also a spiritual side sure. as well. Um, and a lot of people asking questions, saying things, sharing things. Um, what have you found in terms of thinking through this spiritually? Yeah. Sure. is helpful, helpful and, and, not, and not, not helpful. helpful. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I had um, I, I, communication from two different people and they were so different. And I think if I flesh it out a little bit, can help me answer the, the question. Mm -hmm. One of the people I pulled up to the, uh, and he, his whole medical practice was wiped out and all his stuff's out in the parking lot. And I walked up and just gave him a hug. First thing he said was, it was our turn. Hmm. I said, now that's an interesting take. He's like, yeah, you know, everybody gets to suffer. God uses suffering to build character and perseverance. So this time it was our turn, but God's with us. And I thought, okay, that is a, I, I, in fact, I went home and the next morning, I, I just journaled on that thought. And on the other hand, communication comes in. Uh, you need to lead Houston to repent. Uh, you're under judgment. Uh, these are the end times. This is the start of it. It's like, you know, that seems a little presumptuous to me. Uh, taking nothing against, I mean, I mean, I think you're doing your best to try to interpret what's going on and bless you for, for trying. But isn't that presumptuous to say that Houston gets to lead the way uh, into the final? I mean, weren't, wasn't, wasn't there a tragedy a month ago in another city and another there was these shootings and another there was the tsunami and another? I mean, what, what, that's kind of presumptuous to say it's all on you. It's all on Houston. And I was thinking, I don't think that's really a helpful outlook. I think it's healthier to go with a more traditional uh, biblical view Namely, we live in a fallen world. Mm. This globe sprung leaks at the fall of man. And we run around and we plug a leak in this part of the world and another one pops out here and we plug a leak and it's just from the fallenness of the world. And there's suffering and there's death and there's pain and there's starvation. And Houston just, it was our turn. Houston had a, had, hasn't had a lot of big citywide crises that I'm thinking of, and I've lived here my whole life. And so I, I think probably uh, just speaking a cautionary word about trying, because we're all trying to bring... I'm trying to make sense of it. Make <laughs> sense of it. And, and, and so, again, I'm, I'm not disparaging anybody's desire to make sense of it. I, I'd be careful, though, if you're climbing up and presuming to sit on the throne with God and say, now let me interpret what's going on. I was like, I think we might want to step down a little bit and just remember we're, we're part of this whole fallen world, all of us are. Mm. And that's why God sent Jesus. It's for this, we have Jesus. We have a savior. <laughs> Let's move away from this to, hey, it was our turn, it's Houston's turn, but for this, we have Jesus and he makes himself available. He offers us his strength and his power. So we'll draw on that. We'll go charging after him like the Israelites did after David. We'll be the army that rolls up our sleeves, puts on our work boots, goes and brings light into the community and hope and hugs and shovels. And we'll do uh, what the Lord has called mm. us to do because we're full of his Holy Spirit, because we're following the Savior that he sent us. Yeah, we have hope in the midst of, of, the, of, in the the midst suffering. of suffering. Yeah. Um, and I think your message today in talking about how uh, Jesus gives us the courage yeah. and yeah. the joy right. to face what I'm sure is a lot of fear uh, oh, from yeah. people. And so uh, it's a good message Thanks. today. Thank you for that. And thank you for joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. 
Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.